A whole new ball game is filmed before a studio audience. And finally, you should note that the network is changing the satellite feed time of the nightly news. It will now be at 3.30 instead of 4 o'clock. Are there any questions? Do any of these Danish have cheese in them? <laughs> Am I boring you, Mr. Sooner? Oh, I don't think it's just me. <laughs> Does anyone have any serious questions? Do I smell smoke? What? No, I do, I do. I have hypersensitive cilia. I believe it's coming from... Tad! I beg your pardon. <gasps> oh, my God! Mr. Sherman, you're on fire! What? what? Oh, sweet Gloria! You get a stupid fire monitor! Uh, it's a chemical oh, or electric... It's a shoe! It's leather! Water! Water! I need water! Oh. Ah! Ah! Hot coffee, hot coffee. <laughs> Is that a match in your shoe? Oh... The old clubhouse hot foot, eh? You did this? Well, this is not a clubhouse, and I am not amused. I have a prescription orthotic in here, and now it looks like a potato chip. Do you really think that's funny? Well, it's really funny when the sock catches. This didn't get that far. It is not funny. It's juvenile, and it's dangerous, and no one is laughing. You're right, Chief. Six people sitting in the conference room getting soaked is pretty serious business. Hey, he's a tough kid. Thinks he's indestructible. But he'd get a bad cold and a little fever and get achy. At times, a Tylenol would wear off. They try Advil. Got so he asked the doctor what to do. The doc said that there's a pain reliever for the aches and pains of tough colds. It's the only one with 8 to 12-hour dosing. It's called Aleve. It lasts longer than extra strength Tylenol, and Advil isn't stronger. Aleve. I uh, told his mother I'd look after him. I told her I'd look after you. Aleve. All day strong, all day long. Proper etiquette begins at breakfast. We pour the cereal, we select the spoon, chin up, and... Hmm, very good. Now let's move along to... No, let's try that again. The problem with a cereal that's made like popcorn, only sweeter... Some prefer the shovel method. ...is that it disappears like popcorn, only faster. Any questions? Kellogg's Corn Pops. It's hard to stop when it's Pops. Wednesday, sexual secrets are revealed. How dare you! Dan? I wasn't gonna kiss him after that. On Roseanne, then Ellen's knocked out by a handsome dentist. Are you feeling relaxed, Ellen? Well, I feel downright tingly. On Ellen, Wednesday on ABC. Mr. Sooner. No problem. Stay in school. Stay off drugs. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Warner, how's the weather? Well, actually, we have a friend. Not interested. Rhetorical. <laughs> Dad, how's my favorite anchor man? <laughs> Come on, are you still upset about the hot foot? I'm sorry about the shoes. Oh, forget about the shoes. That tie was a hand painted watercolor. Now it's just white. I said, I'm sorry. I, I was just kidding. I'm a kidster, Tadster. Look, I expected Tight Butt to be upset, but I kind of pegged you for a wacky doodle. Well, I am about some things. Look, if I kid with you, it means I like you. It means you're one of the guys. It means you're on the team. I'm on the team? Sure. Am I on the team? Absolutely. You're not playing yet, but you're on the team. We're on the team. Put me in, coach. So is, uh... Has Meg said anything about wanting to see me? No. Why? I don't know. She hasn't said a word to me since yesterday. I was kind of expecting a good butt chewing. She hasn't said anything. Huh. Uh, by the way, I thought the hot foot was really funny. I don't know if you noticed or not, but my blouse was wet all day. <laughs> she really hasn't said anything. She's not ticked off? Sorry. No, no, that's great. I mean... I don't know what kind of shop she's running when you can set somebody on fire and she doesn't care, but hey, she's the GM, fine by me. She doesn't want to talk to me. I certainly don't want to talk to her. It's not like I'm looking for attention. Let me get this straight. You're suggesting that we just don't 
do weather anymore? Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm not saying we eliminate weather. You see, I... Hey, Brett. No, I would never want to sabotage Warner like that. Warner's an institution here. No, what I'm saying is, is that we restructure the weather from a three and a half minute segment to, say, 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Yeah, that gives me more time to sell Brett. Brett is a star. I am not eliminating weather. News? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What is he doing? He was a bad boy yesterday, and now he's trying to make Mommy laugh. <laughs> okay, okay, what about this, okay? We make Warner weatherman emeritus, okay? We let Brett do sports and weather, but he's wearing a little button with Warner's picture on it. It'd be like an honor. I mean, what greater honor is there than to be on a button? <laughs> Come get it. I can't get a rise out of her today. Usually I do one or two little obnoxious things and she's all over me. Well, if what you want is somebody all over you. <laughs> Something else is going on here. Do you know anything? Brett, there is something else going on, but, uh, but I can't tell you. I can't betray a confidence. What? What is it? No, I have worked for Meg for over two years. I owe her everything. She gave me my first job. My loyalties, personally and professionally, are to her. It's Meg's birthday. She's really bummed and she doesn't want anybody to know. That's what it is? It's her birthday? Whose birthday? Nobody's. Meg's! No! You can't say that. She doesn't want anybody to know. But it's Meg's birthday? Just hear what I'm saying. He's old-fashioned, he's hackneyed, he's a joke. Hey, buddy, looking good! <laughs> Did you hear it was Meg's birthday? What? Oh, no, I didn't get her anything. I don't want to seem like a cheapskate. Oh, light bulb. Let's throw a party. This could be a team project. Guys, 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 guys. She doesn't want a party. She, she doesn't want anybody to know about Libby's this. Libby's right. Look, if Meg wanted some lavish party, I'd be the first one to toss in my five bucks. But if she doesn't want it... I just really think that she wants this birthday to go away. You know, it must be really hard turning 30. Darn, 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 darn. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. She's turning 30? Oh. oh, you're right, team. We can't let 30 go by without doing something. I mean, for a woman, 30 is big. 30's huge. 30's death. <laughs> Why don't you leave this one to me? You know what I think we have here? A huddle. <laughs> Bundle up, Milwaukee. We're in for another night of sub-zero temperatures. So let's spend another 30 minutes on it. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to give a great big thank you to Dr. Ed Laboja of Fond du Lac. You know, I've always been fond of Fond du Lac. <laughs> Ed's a dentist, and here's his solution to getting through that long Milwaukee winter. Dental floss sculpture. <laughs> this lovely swan is made out of 4,000 yards of actual dental floss. It took the good doctor three months, and boy, it shows. <laughs> hey, Brett, what do you think of this? Pretty clever, huh? I think old doctor has been sucking on the gas. <laughs> I find it quite the piece of handicraft. <laughs> Keep sucking, doctor. <laughs> So, Brett, what's new in the world of sports? Well, before we get to sports, Warner, and I know this is usually your area, but I've got a birthday greeting that I'd like to share. She's someone very special to all of us here at Channel 5, and she's celebrating a very special birthday. Roll it, Hank. <laughs> she's a local girl born in Wauwatosa, just a few short blocks from the workshop for the blind. But anyone can see she was a beautiful little girl. She was always good on her feet, poised, graceful, and smart. In high school, she was valedictorian delivering her memorable speech, Our Precious Planet. <laughs> her hunger for learning took her to the University of Wisconsin School of Journalism, where she drank from the frosty mug of knowledge. <laughs> and today, she's our skipper here at Channel 5. Happy birthday to my boss, number 30, our very own 
Meg O'Donnell. Meg, come on up here and let the fans take a look at you. Meg? Huh? Oh. Evidently, Miss O'Donnell has left the building. <laughs> One hundred ninety-three million sisters and brothers, moms and dads, one hundred twenty-six million, two hundred fifty million friends. Now, for everyone, MCI introduces new friends and family. A twenty-five percent savings automatically when you spend just ten dollars a month. In fact, with new friends and family, you'll always save over AT&T's best program. Always. New friends and family. MCI customers are invited to join, and so is everyone else. So call us. When you work in a doctor's office during cold season, you're gonna get a cold. And I've got a butte. Hard to tell? That's because I took this. Advil Cold and Sinus, from the makers of Advil. It's tough on colds, like Advil is on pain. Get you through congestion, fever, a bad sore throat. <laughs> Believe me. I know. Advil Cold and Sinus, advanced formula for the cold season. <laughs> short blocks from the workshop for the blind. But anyone can see, she was a beautiful little girl. Meg O'Donnell, WPLP. Peanut, were you surprised? Mother, I was devastated. How could you give Brett those pictures? I thought it was sweet. Who'd believe my baby's 30? Everybody in Milwaukee. Thank God we're not a super station. Why are you so upset? A birthday's a good thing as long as you've got great skin. Mom, um, it's late. I've got to go home. Okay. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thank you, Mom. Just know that Daddy and I are very proud of you. Even if you won't lighten up. <laughs> Bye. Who is it? Uh, I've got a package from Brett Sooner. Hello, hello, hello. This is for you, ma'am. What is it? A Brett Sooner doll? <laughs> That's right. And uh, these are the pins that go with it. Mr. Sooner says you can stick them anywhere you like, but if you have any sympathy left for him at all, please stay away from the crotch. <laughs> well, thank you. You can tell Mr. Sooner he can expect an uncomfortable night. Ah, there's uh, one more thing. Dear Meg, there's a limo waiting for you downstairs. Please go with the driver. That would be me, ma'am. And uh, let me prove to you I'm not the guy you think I am. Tell Mr. Sooner that... That while I find this gesture somewhat charming, though insane, I am declining. I'm going home. Ah, there is uh, one more thing. <laughs> I have your house keys and your car keys. What? How did he do that? P.S. Don't be mad at Libby. I have a power over her she can't resist. <laughs> Let's go. Right out. Come on, mate. All right, come on, come on, everybody in. Wow. A remote. Classy. Look at this. It's Xanadu. Yeah, it's paradise. All right, everybody in the bathroom, let's go. It would be nice to live in a world where a meteorologist could afford something like this. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. I get very claustrophobic. She's not going to be in there that long. She is going to be here any minute. You know, I don't mean to be negative, but couldn't this whole thing just blow up in our faces? No, it's going to be great. She'll love this. An intimate party with her closest, dearest friends and me. Can I just say, I think it's a wonderful idea. Thank you, Libby. And if any man ever did this for me, I'd probably take my clothes off right on the spot. Uh, okay, okay, she's here. She's here. Now, everybody quiet. Now, when I turn off the lights, you come out, you yell surprise, huh? Who 
Who is it? You're hostage. Before you say anything, I'm sorry. I know what I did at the station upset you, and that's not what I set out to do, and you may not believe this, but I hate it when people are mad at me. I'm sure you do. It must get very tiring. <laughs> Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. You want to come in for half a second? Just one more step. <laughs> so, how was the limo ride? Did you watch Gone with the Wind? The opening credits. You live four blocks from the station. <laughs> I take it my mother told you that was my favorite movie? She has been very helpful through all this. <laughs> Could I interest you in a, a little celebration? Just a half a glass of champagne. L look, Brett, I, I know that you have gone to a lot of effort to get me here, but I just want my keys. I really want to go home. But you just got here. And I've had a wonderful time. I, I just, I really want to go home. All right, if that's what you want, fine. But you know, Meg, I gotta tell you, you might enjoy life if you just lighten up a little. Why does everyone keep telling me to lighten up? You told me, my mother told me. I think we know what's best for you. I'm very light. Most of the time, I'm practically floating. You don't think I'm light? Oh, no, 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 you're very light. You're Tinkerbell. <laughs> Don't let the wind blow you away before you get to your car. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I'm not completely light. I... Maybe one glass of champagne. Although I should warn you, I never drink, so I may get crazy on one glass of champagne. Right. <laughs> I'm just feeling a little closed in, that's all. I promise if I vomit, it'll be away from everyone. You must be a riot on a long car ride. On a long car ride, he has a window and some Dramamine. You're very supportive. I'm a human being. Lift the lid. Now I'm gonna vomit. So, this is the famous Brett Sooner seduction pad. Hey, that's not fair. That's just a part of Brett Sooner. If you got to know me better, you'd find that I have a... spiritual side. <laughs> this place is like my sanctuary. This is where Brett Sooner comes for some alone time. This is where I come to gather my thoughts or... settle in with a good book. You read the classics? You bet. Don't touch that! <laughs> Why not? It's like a Dean Martin movie. <laughs> hey, it worked for Dean. Dean's the king. <laughs> well, it's getting late. I, I should go. No, 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 wait. Look, look. I didn't mean to pull this on you. This, this isn't meant for a woman like you. Come on, stay. Uh, uh, Brett, really, just, I Just finish your champagne. I hate to drink alone. I'll do it, but I hate to. <laughs> look, do you really want to spend the... Last 15 minutes of your birthday, driving around Milwaukee? Sweet mother of creation, the room is spinning! What can we do for you, buddy? Space! Give me more space! Oh, God, let this stinking party begin! So... Happy birthday? Look, I know turning 30 is hard. It, it means you're not a kid anymore. But you know, I really believe it's all up here. There's no law that says just because you are an adult, you have to act like one. No, if there was, you and I would be speaking on a phone through a glass partition. <laughs> Good. That was light. More champagne? 
No. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. <laughs> You've obviously gone to a lot of trouble tonight. What do you want from me? I just want to get to know you. I, I, I've never met a woman like you, and I like you, and I want you to like me, too. I think what you'd like is for me to go to bed with you. Well, sure. <laughs> and I know enough about women to know that some of them have to like a person first. And I have a sneaking suspicion you're one of those women. Hmm. Can I ask you another question? You can go to bed with a lot of women. Why me? Look at you. I mean, making love with you would be like hitting a grand slam over the green monster in Boston in the seventh game of the World Series. Oh, Brett, the things you say to a lady. <laughs> I know. That's why half the time I don't even need this stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Yellow. Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Who is this? Your pal's in the bathroom. Listen, I could stay here all night, but Tad here is a little green around the gills. Do we have an ETA? I'm sorry, there is no Mr. Hernandez here. It should just be a minute. He's setting her up beautifully. Oh, Mommy, make it stop. I'll tell you what I think. I think you want to go to bed with me just because I'm saying no. No, no. I don't want to go to bed with you even if you were saying yes. <laughs> Brett, come on. It's not me you want. Y you just want something that you can't have. Y you want to conquer the unconquerable and then move on to the next one. Unless, of course, you're done playing around and you've decided that I'm the one. <laughs> The what? <laughs> How could you possibly be the one? I barely know you. I just thought it would be fun to go to bed with you. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Do you have this conversation with everyone who wants to go to bed with you? Yeah. Yes, I do. So you've never had sex. <laughs> OK, this has been very nice. Lovely time, charming company. I have to go. Meg, wait. Let me just say this so you'll hear it, and I won't have to say it again. I'm not interested in you, Brett. Goodbye. You must have some interest. And why on earth would you think that? Well, you came here tonight. You abducted me! Come on, Meg, you're a bright woman. You could have taken a cab home. Oh, you had the keys to my house. What was I supposed to do, sleep on the porch? No, you could have used the key you hide under the little duck flower pot by the mailbox. <laughs> Are you paying my mother? Well, between your mother and me, the point is, the little duck key proves you're interested. It proves nothing. You wanted to see what would happen when you got here. I wanted my key. You're interested. I am not interested. You're intrigued. I'm repulsed. Here he is. I'm sick. You're glowing. Come on, baby. It's a birthday gift. Let it launch you into your 30s. Oh, you make me crazy. That's interesting.